what a week it was to be the big dog versus the spread. I went three and one, and folks, trust me, everybody's happy, everybody's excited about it. I'm 15 and five on the season now. And you know what that means? I'm starting to get a following. And now that we're shooting it, we actually have a studio audience. And check out the celebrities here. Oh my goodness. I mean, seriously, you're getting people like that. They're waiting outside in order to get in. I got the celebrity list and I was looking at it going through. You know, I didn't know who half of these people are. I'm a retard when it comes to pop culture, because to be honest with you, all I do is watch football, I watch football, and I watch football. That's all I do. I'm all football all the time. That's why I can see when games are going to win. So when I get this list and someone's like, hey, you got to get this Snooky girl in here. I'm like, Snooky? Who the hell is Snooky? Then I found out she was this tall and she needed something crammed in her mouth. So I said, hey, have her come down and be part of our studio audience. I'm the big dog. I'm more than happy to do it. So last week, if you did bet with the big dog, you would have made $1.9 million. That's if you bet a million dollars a game, but obviously I'm only the big dog, so it would be $100 a game, which would have meant that you would have made $190. It's not bad. Okay, I gave you guys Baylor. It was my fourth down pick last week. All right, I gotta remember something. When it comes to Waco, Texas, they only produce a couple things. Car manure and people who think they're the next Jesus. But other than that, when it comes to football team, they might not produce those. I still think they could be a good pick later in the year, but I'm gonna leave the Baylor Bears to go from there. And then you think about Minnesota, Wisconsin. I gave you that 22 points. It's a rivalry game, way too many. It was a backdoor cover. I got a little lucky. But you know what, still, 22 points in a rivalry game, I'll take the win, no problem. I also give you NC State, thumping the Jesuits of Boston College. I said it should be 25, but they won by 27. I'll pat myself on the back. I patted myself somewhere else earlier, but I can't do that on camera. And then the last game of the week. I said LSU would rebound from that horrible performance, which they won against Tennessee, to come out with a nail-biting game against Florida. And that's exactly what he did. Who is he? That is Les Miles. Yes, I ripped him. And folks, before everybody else gets on the band Miles ripping bandwagon over the last couple years, don't forget, I was the one who started it. When I picked LSU to win the national title in 07, I said they would do it in spite of their coach. But while everybody else is ripping him, saying he's lucky, I'm gonna give him this. Les Miles, you've been doing an unbelievable, fantastic job. Somehow, your gambling ways has given your players the ability to come up in big moments. Even if it is a freaky play that ends up being, was it a forward pass, wasn't it? I mean, kidding me, you call a, a, a fake field goal and the ball bounces? I mean, how lucky can you get? So it is a little bit of luck, but I will give you this gamble, man. It is working out for you, Mad Hatter. And speaking of this, you know what? I want a Big Ten team to win the national title this year. I'm afraid it might come out of the SEC and LSU, even though they do play the best football in the world. So Les, guess what? Less your prostate's okay. Put that back where you found it. Put it back where you found it. Put it back where you found it. You must eat a lot of okra. Make sure Saban don't get that. Leave that away from Nick Saban and make sure whatever you do, make sure Patino doesn't get his hands Jesus. on my horseshoe. And we saw after the game how upset Urban Meyer was about the luck that Les Miles is having. Well, Urban Meyer, you don't have to worry about luck anymore. From now on, Florida can beat LSU on their own ability. And by the way, that's one Tim Tebow jersey, I would mind that. So I guess plays like this, the total luck that LSU has having is going to be no more. They're going to actually have to go out and beat teams for real this time. Les Miles, I wish you luck. You're running out of it. I mean, look at a play like this. Are you kidding me? How does that work? Florida, one of the fastest defenses in the country, and you're able to bounce the ball to a soccer player who catches a football that bounces straight up to the guy and he dies for a first down? Les Miles, I'm finally glad I got that horseshoe out your ass. Because plays like this aren't going to work out for you anymore. So, will I be lucky this week? I guess we're going to have to find out. Go to the other videos here at ChiTownMix.com and find out what I picked. You might be surprised. And folks, you probably will. <laughs>